Puebla and Chicago Fire FC. Before we get started here with head coach Frank Lopez, I have a couple reminders. Just please remember to silence your cell phones. And if you need any translations, whether you're here in person or on Zoom, there is a live interpreter on the Zoom link. You can go ahead and just log in and check that. Uh, we'll begin questions up here in the front. Thank you, Alex Calabrese, Man in Red. Hey, Coach. Pleasure to speak with you today. I uh, hope you're doing well. Thank what you. kind of a game are you expecting from Puebla? It's the first time in a while that the Fire have played Mexican opposition in this kind of a setting. And how do you expect them to respond to their big loss last week? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I expect them to. It's going to be a different match. Obviously, even when I uh, you looked at the, the Minnesota game, I think they had good moments in the game. And, you know, um, I think they got caught two or three times in transition moments. Uh, and they pay the price, but they're a good team. They're organized. They have quality players. So um, it's it's going to be a different game. Obviously, we we expect them that uh, you, you know to come out uh, and uh, um, and try to get a result here. Um, we look forward to the match. Obviously, it's always exciting to play somebody different other than MLS teams. So that's great for our players. We're home. We expect a good match, and we 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 need a good match to continue to. Uh, be sharp uh, and uh, so you know I think that's it's an opponent it's it's a very good opponent it's a quality opponent with quality players and we expect a difficult match and we're prepared uh, uh, in that way. Hi Frank Joe Chats on Tap Joe. Sports happy Sunday uh, curious how you're getting the message across to your players when they have some level of cushion going into this match uh, given that all that's really needed is a result to penalty kicks. So I'm curious how that approach changes anything, if anything. No, no, it doesn't. I just a reminder for me is that you're you're playing against a a very good team, regardless of what happened in uh, in uh, the Minnesota game. It's it's one game. It's off. Uh, I think that uh, it's a team that, with like I said, quality players. They have a lot of pride. They're going to come in here, and it's going to be a different game than uh, the previous one. And you know, for us, it's it's continue to improve and be better as a team. We we will t take the game. I know the guys are looking forward to the matchup, and uh, they're, we're very focused. And uh, again, we expect a difficult match, and um, and you can't let you you know relax at any moment because uh, you know when you do that, then you pay the price. We can't look at that. We have a couple goal cushion, and we got to approach the match that way. It's. We just know that, uh, you know, it's going to be difficult and we need to be at our best to, to get a result. And uh, will Fede Navarro be available? for the? He, he will be available. Yeah. Any other questions in person? Uh, hi, Coach. Hello. I'm Jose Aguilera from Liga MX. Uh, you talk about that it's different to face a, a, a non-MLS team. Talking about that, uh, how do you see this rivalry between MLS and League MX that has been growing uh, lately? Yeah. And uh, how is, is it seen here in, in, in the United States? How do you see it? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, look, I mean, I, I think in, uh, in the past, I think, you know, we played... Uh, Liga MX teams, and when you play in CONCACAF, especially the teams, you know, early in the season for us, I think that there are moments where a lot of the teams, uh, the Liga MX teams now, they're, uh, when we play them, uh, we're in preseason, they're in form. It's a little bit different now because we're playing a team that has played three or four games, so it's not in preseason. Uh, it, it, it's always great because I think that's a very good league with, with quality players, and it's also an opportunity for us every time we play to showcase the league, but also... Uh, to showcase the players and the quality of players we have. So uh, I think for the players, it's exciting when you play somebody different. You know, sometimes if, you know, even in our season, if you play against Columbus or you play Cincy, you know, we know the opponent, it's difficult, but it's always exciting when you can face a different opponent and uh, and provides an opportunity for different kind of exposure for all the players. So um, I think the, 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 the league here is growing and getting... Uh, much stronger within every season, and I think you can you you can see that now when when MLS teams face uh, Liga MX teams in the Concacaf Championship games, they're really competitive and tight matches. This is a different format, so it's always exciting now that we can as two leagues come together and and, and play competitive matches that really mean something, you know. So that's the exciting part. Uh, so 
uh, it, it's a it's a great tournament. I think one that the fans will enjoy. Thank you. Sir. We'll go ahead and switch on over to Zoom questions. You are allowed to go, John. Uh, Frank, Puebla is a very technically uh, sound team. They seem like they have a lot of skill in that area, very quick, close passing. Do you feel like that also gives you the opportunity to maybe force them into some turnovers, get yourself some chances, uh, be able to attack them that way? Uh, they also had 60% of the possession against Minnesota, but Minnesota made the most of what they had with the ball. So, so what do you think will be some of the keys maybe that you can be able to utilize your strengths against what I mentioned. Yeah, I think that game in Minnesota, don't forget that they, they got an early red card. So I think that, uh, you know, um, that helped a little bit in the possession stats, uh, but it also helped Minnesota in the, in the ch sense that, you know, Pablo pushed a lot of numbers forward because uh, uh, they had the numerical advantage. And then Minnesota was able to, to punish them in transition moments. I think those moments will still be there in the game because I think they, you know, Puebla, they do play with a lot of their fullbacks, the wingers coming inside, they, they, they push their fullbacks really high up the field and there's moments in transition where you you can attack them. Uh, we discussed that today. We we did a really good job just analyzing Puebla to, to paint a really good picture to, to, to the players. So whether it's transition moments, uh, definitely I think our ability to be in possession, good with the ball and move the ball quickly. I, I think the, you know, the runs running behind their back line is also a key, uh, quick combinations. Uh, and, you know, I think any of those three or four scenarios that I talked about, but, you know, you, you can talk about them, but it's just, you know, decision-making of the players on the field. But uh, I think the possession stats were a little bit uh, in, in big favor for Puebla in the game because they did have that, that numerical advantage with uh, with the red card, you know. So <clears throat> I think, but it's still a team that that wants to be on the ball and, and looks to combine centrally for sure. But, you know, they, they a lot of their play still comes out wide with their fullbacks uh, on the right side. They have in transition, they're very good, especially with this guy Angulo, you know, he with his left foot. He's, he's, he's probably one of the most dangerous players when they get in transition moments where he can run in the back line. Uh, so we're aware of that. And then we just have to be good at home with the ball. You know, we need to be good in possession. We need to move the ball quickly. And uh, uh, and we need constantly to have runs behind and attack the back line. Thank you, Coach. We are set here. We'll go ahead and take a quick pause before we're joined with player Alonzo Aceves. Great. Thank you, guys. Gracias. Go ahead and begin questions in the room, and then we'll go over to Zoom. Buenas tardes, Alonso. Este es el primero año de la League Cup con MLS y Liga MX. ¿Qué piensas del formato del torneo y qué importante es este partido para ustedes? Hola. Eh, pues la verdad de muy interesante. Creo que el torneo eh, ha mostrado que tanto en la MLS como en Liga MX hay eh, buen nivel y Creo que eh, es un buen espectáculo para el aficionado. 
Hey, Joe Chats on Tap Sports. Hi, Alonzo. Uh, Lo Santo para my English. <laughs> uh, your time in Chicago, it's come along very well. I'm curious how you're feeling at this point of the season with the uh, progress you've made since joining a few months ago. Bien, la verdad, eh, me he sentido eh, cómodo. Creo que tanto el equipo como el cuerpo técnico siempre han, eh, me han hecho sentir en casa. Entonces creo que tanto eso como el, el que el equipo esté sacando mejores resultados, creo que a todos nos, nos hace sentir bien. ¿no? Hola, Alonso, ¿cómo estás? Hola. Eh, Nacho Aguilera de Liga MX. ¿Cómo te sientes al enfrentar este torneo? Tú ya has estado en los dos lados, eh, ahorita representando un club de la MLS, pero digo eso, ¿no? En la realidad que hay entre, entre las dos ligas, tú estando de este lado, eh, ¿qué cambia? ¿Cómo es, o sea, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo es ahorita estando en la MLS y ya haber pasado en el Liga MX? Eh, bien, pues creo que lo que lleva un poco de diferencia es el, las etapas de, de los torneos, ¿no? Creo que bueno, al final la Liga MX apenas va empezando, los equipos vienen tomando apenas un nivel constante de estar jugando y la MLS ya venimos con cierto ritmo y nos hace eh, enfrentar de mejor forma los juegos, ¿no? Creo que eh, es un punto muy importante y creo que nos ha beneficiado un poco a la hora de, de presentarnos en los juegos. ¿Y cómo has visto esta eh, situación de eh, que ustedes juegan de locales acá? Eh, hay bastante afición mexicana, sí, pero ese, esa... Eh, como ventaja que tienen ustedes jugando de local en Estados Unidos con, eh, con respecto a los, de, a los mexicanos claro, al final eh, no tener que hacer esos viajes creo que te da eh, cierta tranquilidad pero como todo, no nosotros también en este caso Chicago nos ha tocado viajar y creo que al final uno tiene que dar lo mejor en, siendo un viaje de seis horas o siendo un viaje de una hora, no yo creo que este a la afición le viene bien creo que hay demasiado mexicano acá y son gente que les encanta ver el, los equipos mexicanos y creo que se ha notado un poco no el apoyo hacia los equipos mexicanos de este lado ¿no? hola muchas gracias Alonso buenas tardes eh, Jair Palacio te pregunto acerca de, ¿crees que hay una ventaja anímica respecto al mal inicio de, del Club Poblano y el buen inicio de ustedes para el partido de mañana? Eh, no sé si tomarlo como una ventaja, pero yo creo que eh, te podría decir que de los últimos seis partidos que hemos enfrentado en MLS, ganar cinco creo que nos ha hecho sentir bien, cómodos con lo que estamos haciendo, eh, trabajando durante todos los días para lograr los, los buenos resultados, ¿no? Creo que el que Puebla haya perdido su anterior juego y, y los demás, no sé. Creo que nosotros tenemos que trabajar de, de la misma manera que como si fuera un, un equipo que lleva a líder en su liga, ¿no? John, you can go ahead. Thank you. Uh... Alonso, just having played in Mexico a little bit, do you feel like that there are some things that you can tell your teammates about a team like Puebla and maybe also look at some of what they did against Minnesota and take advantage of that with the style and the way that you play? Bueno, al final creo que lo que yo al, al enfrentarlos en Liga MX creo que Sí hay ciertos jugadores que conoces, eh, ciertos jugadores que pueden ser peligrosos y más que nada los temas individuales, porque al final Puebla ha cambiado de entrenador. Eh, no me había tocado enfrentarme a él, pero creo que este, el tema de individualidades eh, es un factor que puedo apoyar a mis compañeros con decirles en qué son recurrentes, eh, ciertos jugadores que van hacia el centro, qué les gusta hacer. Creo que en ese tipo de cosas es donde puedo apoyarlos un poco más, ¿no? And with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up today's press conference. Thank you, Alonso. Just a reminder that we'll have Club Puebla's press conference to follow as well. Thank you, everyone.